Hey guys, I'm getting a lot of emails with some confusion about how to get the new plugin version of the Pro Panel. So I wanted to make this quick video just to clarify exactly the process for downloading and installing the new plugin version and also how to uninstall the previous version. So this new plugin version is just a different format of the panel. It essentially has the same functionality as the extension version, it's just in a new format. So if you're currently using the extension version without any type of issues, you can continue to use it as there's no major changes to this new version. But if you are an M1 Mac user using Rosetta, you can use this new plugin version without using Rosetta. And if you're a Windows user who encountered display issues with the previous version, then this new plugin version would correct those display issues. That being said, this is the first iteration of the plugin version of the panel. And even with extensive testing, we're still getting reports of a few bugs that we're already working on. So again, you can download this as an optional upgrade, or you can just continue using the previous version of the Pro Panel if it is currently working for you. So I did cause some confusion with this email that was sent out, and apologies. This is just the way that Gumroad is set up. It doesn't actually allow for a button that is a direct link to your download page. The link to your download page is actually this Pro Panel here hyperlinked at the bottom. So if you click on that link, it'll take you to your product download page where you can get your download and then also your license key. So the new plugin version of the panel is just now in the same file download as the previous version. It's just included with the previous files. So if you click download, you're gonna get the zip file that includes the new plugin version as well as the previous version of the panel. You can also retrieve your download and your product key from the original purchase receipt email just by going to that email and that comes from Gumroad and clicking view content. So once you've downloaded the new zip file and unzipped it, you're going to see again the previous versions with the manual auto installer for the previous version, the Windows installer which is the .exe and the .zxp along with this new Pro Panel plugin version. This could show up as a .ccx file or just simply say plugin depending on what type of computer you're using. To install this new plugin, you're simply going to double click on it. It's going to open up the plugin manager for Photoshop. Click install locally and then click OK. And now you can see that the Pro Panel is installed. And when we go back to Photoshop, now it shows up and it's ready to be activated. As far as the license key goes, you're going to use the same exact license key as you previously used for the extension version. You're going to want to highlight the license key and then use the keyboard shortcuts. So that's going to be Command C on a Mac to copy and then Command V to paste. If you're on Windows, that's going to be Control C to copy and then Control V to paste. Now you can see that we have the plugin version of the Pro Panel installed in Photoshop. So you can simply just pin that wherever you'd like within your workspace. And here you can see the previous version of the Pro Panel. Now I've gotten a lot of questions about whether or not you need to uninstall this previous extension version of the panel and you do not. In fact, I suggest that you don't simply because this is a brand new format and things are changing every day for this plugin format and also Photoshop updates. So I would suggest that you keep this previous version installed on your computer just in case any issues pop up with updates to Photoshop. You can simply just hide it by going up here to this tab and then clicking close tab group and that's going to hide the extension version of the panel and if you ever need to get it back you'll simply go up here to windows and then extension and then just re-click on it. Now if you're dealing with an M1 Mac then you can just uncheck open with Rosetta and then you will not see extensions here but you will see your pro panel under the plugin section. Now if you want to bring extensions back using an M1 Mac you're going to need to check open with Rosetta for Photoshop. If you really want to uninstall the pro panel the way to do this is fairly easy. You're going to simply go up here to File, and then Scripts, and then Browse. Once the box opens up, locate the Pro Panel download folder with all the files. Open up the Manual Auto Installer folder, and then locate this Pro Panel Manual Auto Installer.jsx file in the new download. When you click Open, you're going to see this dialog box pop up, and you can either try to just uninstall it, or the most surefire way to uninstall it is going to be to click this Open Extensions folder. It's going to open up a few different folders which show your extensions for Photoshop in them. So you're simply going to locate the extensions folder for the Pro Panel, right click and then either click delete if you're on Windows or click move to trash if you are on Mac. Now when you quit Photoshop and reopen it, you're going to see that the plugin version remained installed but you will not see the extension version here anymore. 
If you installed the Pro Panel on Windows using the EXE installer, then you're simply going to locate the EXE or the application Pro Panel file in your download, and then you're going to uninstall it through the same process. Instead of installing this time, you're going to click uninstall and then click remove. And when you exit out of Photoshop and reopen, you'll see that the extensions version of the Pro Panel has been removed. One important thing to mention is you're going to want to avoid uninstalling the Pro Panel plugin version through Plugin Manager. Instead, whenever you receive updates for the plugin version, you're simply going to double click on the plugin update. And then here it'll ask you if you want to replace the current version. You're going to click continue and it's going to replace the current version with whatever update you're installing. The reason for this is whenever you uninstall the Pro Panel plugin through Plugins Manager, this is going to use up one of the license key activations instead of just transferring it to the new update. So you want to avoid uninstalling through the Plugin Manager because when you reinstall it, you're going to have to enter in the license key again and one of the activations will be burnt. If you have any issues as far as the installation or the display of the new plugin version of the Pro Panel, you can shoot me over an email through the contact page on the website and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, the new update is completely optional, and if the extension version is working just fine, you can continue using that until it's necessary to switch over to the new format of the Pro Panel.